What's up, fast babes? It's your girl Joy back with another burger. <laughs> I'm tired. It is 5 30 and I am so ready to go. I think I have a training that I need to do, so maybe my goal will be out of here by 6 <laughs> because I was on the principal's naughty list because I didn't do the training that. I don't know, I gotta figure it out. So anyway, um, I didn't do my outfit of the day yesterday. I was tired. And then I think I was <laughs> messing with those bangs. My bangs. And they were getting on my nerves. <laughs> so as you see, the bangs are gone. Okay, so I had to uh, rock an old, an old hairstyle. That's what I had to do, rock my old hairstyle. One of the um, students came up to the desk, they was like, I was like, I was like, oh, that was you. That's you. That's you're not a sub. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but this is y'all know this the old old do. I could not do those bangs, bangs, the bangs. Another minute, <clears throat> I was done. I was done, child. And then somebody was like, oh, you look like a um strawberry. <coughs> then somebody said, oh, you look like a watermelon. Why y'all in my business, first of all? Why you in my business? Why I gotta be, you know, fruit? But that's okay. I call myself doing some color blocking today. Yesterday I wore a pink little skirt and it seemed to make everybody happy. I don't know, I love it. I don't know, they look forward to seeing what is Miss Basil gonna look like today. So this is my little outfit of the day. Look, I wore these shoes three days in a row. I cannot wear them tomorrow. Mm -mm. And you know how it takes time to break in some shoes? Woo, baby. Baby. I cannot wear these shoes tomorrow, honey. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Ooh. I've had enough. I need a break. But I do, I do like the colors and stuff. So I was trying to do some color blocking with this outfit. I got this shirt from a, a local store called Sam Moon in the Woodlands. And I just thought it was so cute, so dainty. And um, of course, you know, I got like a ton of these skirts, so I just wanted separate colors. So what I'm doing with the students is, we're doing, um, it's Black History Month, and I'm taking some of your suggestions about people. And I was on Instagram, Early this morning, I'm, I'm always changing my lesson and I come up with different ideas and so forth. And so somebody was like, oh, um, uh, Claudette Colvin. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. You know, the kids probably don't know about her. And so we talked about her at first. I was like, so who was Rosa Parks? Who? And then we talked about that. Then I was like, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So she was the first person. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then I hit him with... You know, the uh, Claudette Colvin, who, you know, on record is the first person. There were other people, but on record, she's one of the first pioneers of uh, refusing to give up her seat on the bus. And I'm not going to go into a history lesson. But anyway, the kids really enjoyed it. And there were lots of laughs today. So I held my class in the library today. I just didn't want to be in my room. And two people came with me. It was like, you know. This was a great class, you know? What did you do before? So I guess she could tell that I was something else besides a teacher. I still say I'm the ghetto teacher. And then I play This Boy Is Mine by Monica. No, 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 listen, 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 listen. Calm down. It was for a reason. It was to make a point about a lesson in poetry, okay? Cause you know, music is like poetry. Poetry can turn into music and vice versa. But hunty, let me tell you, I was baffled I was dumbfounded by the number of students who did not know Venus and Serena the Williams sisters please tell me y'all know who they are I was they was like who is that so why would I know that I don't watch tennis I was like I don't watch tennis either but when you have these two little girls who's taking over a predominantly white sport and kicking butt 
you take notice. But I was just blown away. And just like Tiger Woods, I, <clears throat> I didn't know of any black uh, golf players, but you know, at one point he was, he was taking over, you know? So it's like, do I, do I watch golf? No, but I, my interest was peak when Tiger was playing. So it was just, I was just like, oh my goodness, you guys don't know who they are, which was, we read about them in a poem. So anyway, I'm going on about this stuff. So I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to upload this video real quick. And I just want to go home. There's so much I need to do. It's just, it's just disheartening that a teacher's job is never it seems like it's never done because when you some people learn how to master it okay good i have not because it's like when i'm teaching all day when do i have time to do administrative work i don't and if it's my planning period i'm literally planning i don't go to the teacher's lounge i don't hang out after school, you know, I might hang out and talk to talk about our day, reflect, what could we do different? So Miss Anderson and I do that. We'll do that once in a blue moon. But then I go home after I get settled, whatever, then I'm back to work. Or sometimes I just crash. But it is just it's just terrible. Not terrible, but yeah, it is that our job never ever ever ends and then when you have those parents ooh, 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 that just want to complain <laughs> like miss i don't work 80 hours this week what, what more can i do you know so and then you have those those ones who say um something good i have one of those great emails and it just made my heart smile and so i had my student I had him put that up for me. And so he got the Black History Month and I'm super, super proud of myself because I'm usually behind on things like this. You know, the Valentine's Day, Black History Month, uh, Mexican, whatever, whatever, Hispanic. I'm usually behind and I'm just like, forget it. So I'm glad that so far every day I've, um, focus on a different person of um, for Black History Month. And then I was like, okay, it's gonna be a quiz. You chose not to listen, tomorrow you have a quiz. And so one class they got a quiz, they weren't listening. And I said, you gotta be responsible. I can't keep babying you, you need to write it down. Quiz tomorrow. And you better be ready, cause you can go in Schoology, go into our platform, and you can review these slides on your own. Because I already told you, you have a quiz. So it's up to you. What are you going to do about it? You got to be responsible. You chose not to listen today. So here we go. We got a quiz. Period. But I am exhausted. I'm really, really tired. I want to go home. But the paperwork, the grading is up to here. It's up to, ooh. It's so much. A teacher's job is never done like ever and then the paperwork baby i'm already on the list i'm on the list i'm just ooh, baby and i'm still trying to put a little quote over there but i want to go home i just want to go home and crawl in my bed you know you eat some good comforting food and just crawl in your bed Maybe I try to get here early, and I stayed in bed a little longer this morning because I knew those bangs were gone. <laughs> those bangs was going bye bye. All right, y'all. Let me um upload this video. Try not to do too much editing on it, and hopefully I'll be out here at six. And I'll just I'm joy. You gonna come in early tomorrow to do what you gotta do. Do what you gotta do. Well, maybe I can take my computer. See, there I go. Take my computer, crawl in bed, and grade some papers. And when we're working on writing, oh, my God. Those papers, they take forever. They they just, they, <laughs> they take forever. They Don't be rushing me because I got, like, 400 essays to read. Uh, uh, excuse me. Calm down. Have several seats. Next call up. Come on. <laughs> and thank you for checking in on me again. And I don't feel 100%, but 
I'm getting there. I'm getting there. And then I was like, my, I look, so, I look weird. I was saying I look weird, but when I'm sick or if I'm having an allergic reaction, sometimes I have allergic reaction with my hair color. Um, I could tell in my eyes and I was like, no, my eyes look, they look, they still look tired to me. I was like, yeah, something's not right. You know how you have those days where you feel cute and some days you don't. I was like, I was just too tired to even come on yesterday. I want, no, I did. I did the bayangs, the bayangs. <laughs> then I went home. My outfit was kind of cute. She was cute. She was cute. What am I going to wear tomorrow? I don't know. <laughs> now, I was like, they be waiting. What is she going to wear? I don't know. So, that's kind of, so it's like when you build up this expectation, <laughs> people are like, hey, what are you, what are you, what are you wearing? Yeah, I really wasn't feeling it today. So I don't know, I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna wear tomorrow, I'm trying to figure out what my lesson is tomorrow, I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do to get, you know, Friday's easy because they, they're all taking a quiz. But honey, they don't like to see you uh, in your seat. And my old principal will always tell me, teach from your feet, not your seat. <laughs> well, miss, my feet hurt. I've been standing for three straight days, running my mouth nonstop. At some point, I need to take a seat because I cannot be the focus of attention all week long sometimes that tension needs to be on the kids and they need to do things by themselves so that means they need to be released to do things on their own but baby we have off next week but what i'll be doing planning grading building look cute little slides and stuff no 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 I take that back. I'm gonna be putting my braids back, and I know some don't put your braids back. Don't put it back. Mm -mm, I'll be putting these braids back because you know it's kind of um weird. You know, you seeing somebody new and stuff that you gotta change your hairstyle at night. So you know, you you, 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 you know, it's just I don't know if I'm ready for that. So anyway, I'm just saying. I, I not say that it happened to me, but you know. You know, it's like you take off your 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 fake your fake bun buns and your fake leg and your eyelashes and stuff. You're like, see, I'm a whole new person. So I don't know if I'm ready to take my hair off. To I I don't know if I'm, I don't know if I don't know if I'm ready. Oh yeah. So anyway, uh, I'll see y'all later. Bye.